decided that uh, made the tutorial yesterday about the infinite lava generator and the infinite cobblestone generator. I, I might as well um, show you guys how to make the ultimate. <coughs> sorry, sorry. How to make the ultimate cleaver in Tinker's construct? Now, as you can see, I'm using the infinite lava um, on my smeltery, so I don't have to fill it up. It's at 4,000 constantly. It's gonna keep going like that. If ever needs any more, uses it. Uh, now, for this, you're gonna need the smeltery, as you can see. Um, I put down two drains and uh, casting tables. You don't need those. Uh, you'll, I mean, you need one, just not two. So, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have to be big at all. Now, um, in case any of you don't know how to craft some of this stuff, I'm actually not gonna show that, but I will show you how to craft the cleaver. So, in my opinion, this is actually the best cleaver. Now, we're gonna need to make, uh, what, what are they called? They're called patterns? Just... Yep, uh, we gotta make some blank patterns. So let me just grab this. So, boom. Now, I'm gonna drop them into this. This is a stencil table. Uh, let's see how I make that. Okay, you drop them in here. Now, as you can see, it tells you what kind of pattern you're gonna make. Now, there's several patterns that you could make. Uh, you're gonna make. Let me just get to it. I already have one in my inventory. This is a tough rod pattern, but I'm gonna get to it here. And just... Oh, there we go. This is a tough rod pattern, so it takes one of your. Takes one of your blank patterns and turns it into a tough rod pattern. Now you're also gonna need a, a large blade. Oh wait, here we go. Here's another one actually. You need a large plate pattern. You also need a uh, large blade, which I just passed. Uh, yep, large blade. All right. So you have your large blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, damn, there's so many brain parts. As you can see, I have gold in here. Now we're supposed to make casts. So here's how we make the cast. This is a part builder. You drop in uh, like that pattern I dropped in just now. Now I'm gonna need some wood. Let's just bring some wood. Just click on that. All right. Now if I if I throw that in there, it gives me a. You know I don't think I need that, do I? Can I just like drop this. All right. Let me just try this for a second. Throw one here. Did I just use all my wood on that? I did. Yeah, you don't need this many. You only need one. Now, hopefully, this will work. So, just click on the molten gold and see if it'll actually pour over that and give me what I need. Yep, alright. It gave me a. Is it. Alright. That's gonna give me what I need. If it would like to keep going. Alright, there we go. Oh, I got two of them. Didn't need two of them. Alright, I got myself a large plate cast. Now we're gonna need that, so we're gonna get ourselves a pattern chest. Now all this is really easily crafted, um, minus the smelter. Smelter might be a little, a little work, but it'll be worth it. So let's just, just place that up there. Let's drop that in there. Don't need this anymore. All right, all right. Let me just actually get rid of this. Sorry about any lag. Sorry about any background noise. Sorry about my coughing. Like I said, I'm sick. So yeah. Sorry about the rasping. Sorry about everything, honestly. Uh, all right, now, oh, that lag. Now we still have um, what we have in here. Now, this is gonna be made out of manila, but uh, you see, the thing about manila is that it's not something you mine. You mine um, cobalt and ardite, and that's what you. That's a uh, two nether ores um, from Timber's construct. You throw them both into the smelter at the same time, and then uh, you. It mixes and makes manila. Now, if any of you don't know what's good about a smelter, you're like, oh, what's better about a smelter rather than a uh, furnace? For one, you can throw many things in at a time, and they will all smelt at the same time. For another, um, it gives you two ingots, ingots for it instead of one. It's going to be really worth it. Like, I have an enormous one on the server. Again, this is Sacred Labyrinth. Sacred, oh my god, rank farts. Sacred Labyrinth mod pack. Check it out. I will have a link for the download in the description from Tekken Launcher. Alright, now. Let's get these casts. So you can take this out. We don't need that anymore. Let's get a large blade pattern. All right. So if I drop that in there, it's gonna give me one wooden um, large sword blade. Let's at the same time make the tough two rod. There we go. We got a wooden tough two rod. Now we're not gonna 
use the two rods. I mean, we are just not the normal one. Like it shows there. Let's just actually use both of them at the same time. I guess that'll make things faster. Here we go. Now, I believe we still have the gold in the first slot. Yep. Alright. One. Two. Alright. Let me click on this one, I guess. Alright. Here we have a tough two. Did I get rid of that other one? Oh no, it's not here. So, we have the Roger Blade cast, a tough two rock cast. Which we won't need. Damn it. I don't remember, is it this? Right, I'm just gonna take... Where is it? It would be awesome if I knew what this looked like. Alright, I'm gonna need this. Let's, let's just drop it in there. And then let's... Let's... Yeah. Let's take this also, I guess. I think... You see, I don't remember if it's uh, one or the other, so sorry about that. So we don't need these anymore. Now... We're gonna need paper. Now, the thing about what paper does in Tinker's Construct is that um, you can make paper stacks, which is like uh, you take paper and you put it in the form of a crafting table in your thing. And, uh, yeah. So I have paper stacks. Now I'm gonna try to both. But oh crap! The hell is that? All right. Try to. This one. This one's supposed to make it. Yep. Probably. All right. So let's take that, take that, alright, yeah, I'm not smoke, I don't need these. Now, I'm gonna get one paper large plate, that's all you need. Then you get rid of this, and uh, you throw that in. You need two tough tool rods, there we go. Uh, you no longer need this, so I don't need these, I'm sorry about that. Um, so you need two paper t tough rods, and a uh, paper large plate. Now, what they have left in here is the the large blade cast, you know, drop that into the casting table and switch out of the molten gold, switch back to the manilum. Uh, I think this requires three or eight or whatever. Let's just let this fill up. I think a large blade cast requires eight, so you're gonna need like eight manilum in there. Uh, let's just wait for this to finish up. Boom! We have our manilum uh, large sword blade, is that what it's called? Large sword blade, yep. Alright, now. We're gonna want to make it. So you go to your tool forge, you go to your cleaver button. It looks like a cleaver. You're gonna put manila in there, uh, the manila large sword blade in there, the large blade in there, and then uh, the tough rods here. There we go. We have a cleaver. But this cleaver only does plus 11 damage, and it's writable. Now, like a uh, thing about paper is that uh, it also makes the items more. Like, how do I say this? Uh, it gives more modifiers. So this uh, is already a two-hit kill. So if I like go to this uh, horse right here and I hit it, one, two. All right, so that's two-hit kill. But we want this to be better. So let's see how much better we can make it, right? Uh, but I already know. There's the catch. So I'm gonna leave this here real fast. Um, now I'm gonna get us some. I think it's moss ball. Type of moss. Just it. Ball of moss. Let's just get us a uh, stack. We need less than that. Oh, actually, you know what? Why don't I show you guys how to make the modifiers first? All right. So if you guys don't know the three modifiers, there's one you can make in creative, and the other three you can make uh normally. So um, for the first modifier, you need a diamond and a gold block. So let's just there's the gold block and the diamond right here. Next modifier will be a block of diamond and a apple, aka god apple. Do they not have god apples in the creative inventory? It's a normal apple. Alright, just get that. Alright, and then for the third modifier, you're gonna need another star. Just another star. Now, the thing about another star is that they're really hard to get, so it kind of makes sense. I don't know what happened. Alright, so let's start putting modifiers on the diamond. Um, it's gonna give you the option to do this, it's gonna give it plus 500 durability. Uh, that's yeah, don't do that. See, now before it had six modifiers, once you put these in, it's gonna have seven modifiers. Put that back in, uh, block of diamond, gold apple, eight modifiers, and another star gives you nine modifiers. Alright, let's drop that back in there. 
Now let's get the moss. Now, the moss is for auto repair, which is going to be amazing. You guys would definitely love it. Because it's really helpful. Now, let's take one at a time, actually. So, once you put it on, it's going to remove one modifier, and you're going to have auto repair one on it. So, now we put one more in there. You're going to have auto repair two. I don't think it can go any higher, can it? It could. It could. You know, these moss balls aren't that hard to make, but uh, I think auto repair two is actually pretty good. You don't, you're not gonna need any more than that. So let's just leave that there. All right. Now I think the last thing you really need is quartz for sharpness. So let's just get us to that. Uh, it's here. Now um, you can spend the rest of your modifiers on the box of quartz. I believe. No, you're not. I'm being stupid. Uh, you're also gonna need something that a wither skeleton drops if you kill it. Now, not it doesn't always drop this. It's a necromancer bone or something. Necro. Here we go. Necrotic bone. Now, wither skeletons drop it, but not all the time. So it gives you life steal. So whenever you hit an enemy, you steal its health. That's uh. Basically, you're going to heal while you're fighting. Now I'm going to quickly spread this throughout my inventory so that I can be able to do this faster. Alright, there we go. Now, you can use the rest of your modifiers on sharpness. So, you just have to keep that uh, quartz box in there. You're not even going to need that. You're going to need probably just half a stack, not half a stack, but one stack or something. I just put that in so it's faster. Now, you need the quartz uh, blocks of quartz. You can use normal quartz, but that's slower. So, yeah, let's just keep doing this until our modifiers are done. Just keep going. Any modifiers are left? Yeah, two modifiers left. Alright. Uh, if any of you don't know what's good about a cleaver, is that you can behead mobs and uh, people. So, if you're on a server, and you like to collect heads, it's 20% drop of a head. So if you kill someone, 20% chance that you'll get a head. Alright, that's it. Just get rid of that. Oh my god, I almost shifted this out of my own control. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, now it's out of modifiers. And it's got a plus 37 damage on it, life steal, and auto repair too. So, I believe I'm in hard mode. No, let's, let's switch to hard. And uh, let's also get us a nice spawner out here. Uh, which spawner do we want? Do we want something that'll hurt me a lot? Alright, why don't we use an, uh, an iron golem? Let's get a. It doesn't really matter. It really matters. Just get this. Um, what else do we want? I'm also gonna get a zombie. Oh, there's a giant. Don't want that. There's custom NPCs in here, so it's just like gonna give me some other stuff. Alright, uh. Doesn't. Hmm. I just want something that can hurt me really well. Alright, let's just get a break, yes. guys. Alright. So we have our golem spawner. We have our blaze spawner. So I'm gonna show you how much damage it does because if I spawn Alright, here we go. Golem has hundred health. Look at how many hits it takes to kill it. One, two, three. Or if you wanna like go out with crits, it's like this. I did I hit it a second time. Nope. There. It's a two hit kill if you crit it. Now if you guys don't know how to crit you probably should, but um, you have to jump and or shift at the same time. It doesn't matter. You can like shift while punching. So you guys have to look at my butt. You can shift while punching. You can jump, shift while punching. That's why um, like most hack lines have that uh, crits, which is where uh, it makes your character shift and punch a bunch uh, whenever you're uh, no, no punching is kill aura. Uh, basically, yeah. It makes you shift a bunch, and uh, oh, is this what's wrong with this one? Oh, it's raining. Just toggle downfall. Just 
stop. Yep. All right. So let's switch into game mode. I'm gonna show you guys. Now, if you guys, oh, got a hat. All right. Game mode. I'm in game mode one. All right. Now, you see, a blaze spawner isn't really gonna help you. I, for example, like skeleton head. So, so one in five drop that I'll get it. Basically, it's like really good. Uh, let me see if I can actually get a skeleton head in this. Am I still in game mode one? Damn it. All right. Now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let it hurt me for a little bit. Let's go, hit me, and then I'll show you guys how life steal works. There, I killed it. I restored some health. Let me just get to that skeleton. Boom! Killed another heart. If I go over to this horse, I think. Yep, healing. Let's see. Every time I hit it, I heal. Now, uh, still want to know about the beheading part? That. Ow. Gold chasing that, alright. Oh, there we go. I actually also wanted to show you guys the repair rate, so the skeleton's really in. Oh, alright. Something's bound to drop some shit. So uh, let's just get this kill going. Oh, this is an infernal mob. Damn. Alright, let me just search game mode one. Let's quickly get back to where I died. Oh, I traveled far so I can make the mod. Not mod. Uh, the showcase or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Now, let's see. This my stuff. Yeah, here we go. Now, let's just. Holy shit! All right. I just really want to show you guys the. Oh my god! Screw you, Golem. I really guys want to show you how to get the heads and all. It doesn't really matter, but. I also want to show you guys the durability loss. You see that? Uh, it takes some durability. Now, the thing about cleavers is that they have. Ouch. A lot of durability. Ow. Ow. Oh, fuck it. So they have a lot of durability. Now, with them having a lot of durability, like, see, if you go over this, it says out of 100. Yeah, that's not true. It's out of, uh, like, a thousand or something. The fact that it's made out of manila raises its durability. Um, paper doesn't raise its durability as much, so. I don't know, it's your choice if you want to make it reinforced or snowbound instead of um, all that sharpness. But plus 37, where is it? Plus 37 sharpness, that's almost two full um, health bars. So, like, you see my health bar right there? It's gonna. It should do. Like, if someone has modifiers on their thing, it's like a canister, right? Canister? There we go. So, say someone has a green hard canister. I think that's gonna really do something. There you go. I say to drop it. So, put on the green heart canister. Permanent health increase, yada yada. Doesn't wanna work. Why doesn't it wanna work? Alright. No matter, if they have a canister on them, it'll increase their health, so that can really help. They're, it can definitely penetrate armor, as you saw with that, um, Zombie wearing full gold armor. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys found this. Oh, as you can see, he's actually fully restored. Hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful. Um, remember, ultimate cleaver. I have no doubts about that. And, um, subscribe for more comments on what else you might want me to. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't protect you from getting killed. No matter. Um,. Subscribe for more, comment on what you might want me to tutorial next time and go the wrong way. And uh, <clears throat> for a partnership, you can always uh, get a partnership with the Freedom. That's the people I have a partnership with. And um, link will be down in the description. And uh, follow me on Twitter for updates. I actually made a mod using um, a program. Now with that program for some reason it's not working out too well for me because every time I do something it crashes it. If any of you know how to fix M Creator, I think that's the program. If you guys know how to work M Creator that would be nice. So um yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.